Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Stork wiping his nose off, seeing Cub, checking his cheeks to see if he has a fever or something like that. Bisu out of breath, looking a little bit nervous. This is game two of Bisu versus Stork. This is the OSL. I'm sorry. Yeah, OSL. Sorry. <laughs> sorry about being sorry when I wasn't actually sorry. Uh, this is the OSL quarterfinals, and this is game two. <laughs> Stork coming off of a big win in game one, a very decisive win. Um, it was close for a lot of the game, but um, Stork just ended up economically ahead and, and a little bit better micro, I think, and took the match. And we're going to get started here in 3, 2, 1, just in case we need to sync that up later. Um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to another good match here. If Stork wins this game, it is a best of three, so if Stork wins, he will take the series and he will move on to the semifinals. Um... And uh, if Bisu wins this game, he's going to have to come back and win that third game in order to move on to the semifinals as well. Um, Stork, I think I'm going to favor him. I mean, not just because he won the first game, but the same reason I favored him in the first game. He's been on fire recently. He's been winning almost all of his games. He's won something like, uh, you know, 19 or 20 of his last 24 games or, you know, something ridiculous along those lines. I'm, I have the numbers probably a little bit off within a margin of error of two games, but he's still just tearing up everyone. bisu has been playing well lately. I'm looking forward to him getting back in form, but, um, you know, he's he's not quite in A-game shape yet, so I think he's at a little bit of his advantage. By the way, Bisu is in red at the uh, 3 o'clock position. Stork is going to be in uh, the, looks like, yellow at the 6.30 position. Hey guys, it is Cholera here with Moltrap. Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> I have to say in game one, <laughs> no problem. Um, in game one, Stork definitely looked like the superior PvP player. Uh, Bisu uh, went for a faster um, shuttle than Stork did, and eventually, uh, well, he, it just didn't pay off for him because Stork picked up his expansion behind his base on Return of the King earlier, and he also uh, managed to snipe off Bisu's first shuttle, and that was pretty much um, all she wrote. I don't think there was any way for Bisu to really come back from that. And uh, in this game, we're, we are in the map Medusa, a three-player map, of course, um, spawns at the 3, 7, and 11 o'clock locations. There's a big Bisu poster there looking quite good. Um, Looks like both players have gone for mirror build so far. Gateway then gas, so neither one's going to go for an early rush, a two gate rush, or anything like that. Um, I do expect that uh, the person with a better reaper control will probably win this game. I think that uh, there is that possibility once again of dropping behind the mineral lines uh, or using that um, that that uh, temple entrance creatively. At least, at the very least, I expect them to possibly try to sneak uh, scouting probes behind the main base. Um, here's. Uh, this is uh, Bisu putting up a pylon behind his uh, main base and Stork doing the same thing actually. So both have completely mirrored each other and this is uh, of course what top level pro gaming does is that um, you end up with just completely you know, the same level of, uh, of practice and the same exact builds for the same map. And I like Medusa actually for PvPs. Uh, there could also be some very back and forth naps in the middle where it's basically a big push. Um, kind of like a Taran versus Taran almost. Uh, so I'm expecting good matches. Do you think Bisu is going to really just, um, I guess, get, be completely more more focused, more psyched in this game than he was in game one where I felt like his performance just wasn't that, it was kind of lackluster. I mean, he really, he, his back is against the wall right now. Um, you know, I'm not sure. It, it, the, his facial expression, uh, at the beginning of the game, he didn't he didn't exactly look like he was hyped up or anything like that. I'm, I'm, to be honest, I mean, he, he didn't look... He looked like he was a little bit nervous, a little bit concerned, maybe. Um, so I don't know if he's necessarily hyped up for this. I mean, he's also, though, he's a type of player, though, that can really shine under pressure. And so um, I don't think necessarily that's going to affect him uh, that much in general. So uh, we do see a little bit of deviation right now. It looks like... Um, Bisu got a Dragoon there. Uh, Stork made an additional Zealot. Probably didn't have the minerals to make that Dragoon. Um, so uh, I'm not sure what's going on there exactly. Stork has gotten a scout inside Bisu's base. Uh, Bisu just now trying to get a scout in. He is going to get that scout in. So until now, Bisu didn't know that they were so mirror. Um, but he knows now, and so that's a good thing for him. If that Dragoon had popped out a little bit sooner and been able to deny that scout, Stork would have been at a huge advantage um, as far as intel goes. I do want to point out, by the way, I don't remember what what um okay, bisu is mining out the minerals um at his expansion and stork has already mined out the minerals that hit behind his expansion clever move because that is actually going to prevent wow. um 
in order, what you can do is you can sneak up a probe and build a pylon and do the pylon trick to squeeze through the minerals, and then that squeezes your probe through the buildings, so you can get a scouting behind the base. So by mining out those minerals, it's it's uh, made it impossible for either player to do that. So now, if any player wants to get in that back door, they're going to have to actually break through those temples. So brilliant move. I wonder if one of them saw the other doing that and decided to do that as well, or, or they possibly also just came up with it individually. Um, but yeah, one thing I did want to point out really quick is that the way that the bases are set up, it's going to be a little bit easier for Bisu to do drops because um, it, I mentioned this in another PvP on the same map, actually. I don't remember which one it was, but um, basically Stork's forces, when he's rallied to his front, they're going to be away from his back door, whereas Stork, if he wants to take a direct route to Bisu's base, is going to have to fly through the area that, um, that Bisu's going to be rallying his troops. And so it's going to be a little bit easier for for um, Bisu to get drops in and that. And actually, Bisu going in with a little bit of harassment, a little bit outnumbered, takes out one Dragoon and loses a Dragoon in encounter. Those Zealots are going to help um, Stork to chase Bisu back. But, um, I mean, Whoa. both these players... Wait, wait, wait. I think you're getting the colors mixed. Sorry. Moltrap, I think you're getting the mixed. Uh, red is Stork and orange is Bisu. Wait. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. Sorry. I've been completely <laughs> wrong the entire game. <laughs> Oh, well, good catch at least. Sorry about that. Um, so everything I just said, <laughs> completely reverse it. In reverse. That's all right. It's the same uh, strategy, just reverse. They, they look the same, too. They're on the same team, except not. But <laughs> anyway. My bad. Uh, My both bad. players have gotten... They're both Protosses, after all. Uh, both have gone for... Um, uh, Robox facilities with the uh, Robox support and the observatory. The one difference is the red player, who is Stork, uh, has gone for three gate um, after Robo, so he's going to have a little bit of production advantage, perhaps a little bit of a uh, macro disadvantage. Uh, maybe he had to sack some one or two probes for to make it or whatnot. But um, I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference, though. Uh, Stork looks like he has the superior force and he is uh, in a great position there, so I don't think he's going to be able to, uh, that Bisu is going to be able to put too much pressure on. Interesting enough, Stork uh, faring a probe there um, to his upper ground just above the temple, maybe just to keep the keep an eye out for it. And Bisu has gone for the expansion now. Uh, so Bisu has taken this, uh, I guess, moment uh, to, to pick up his expansion, I think a little bit before Stork has. Stork's up with his first Reaver right now. Yeah, he does not have an expansion yet. Um, Stork does have the military advantage, I think, temporarily, although it's very, very close to call. Um, so we'll see if Stork decides to pressure uh, Bisu's front door right now. Both players are done with range upgrades, so two gate versus three gate. So far, the main deviation has been that Bisu is up in an expansion, and I think uh, Stork's uh, window of um, opportunity will probably be uh, in the next minute or so to, to do a timing attack on Bisu. Right, wow, sorry again about the colors there. I, yeah, I <laughs> Stork is red, and um, I'm not sure why completely mistook them and I even took note in the beginning. Anyway, moving on though. Stork's got two Reavers out now. He needs to move out pretty quickly here. Um, I'm not sure why he's dancing around his Reavers there. He maybe forgot to put Scarabs in him or something like that. But he needs to press home this advantage and here he goes moving out while he has two Reavers and Bisu only has one and Bisu does not have his shuttle out. So Bisu has tried to go for this expansion and protect it with just the ground Reaver. So it's basically kind of come down some micro. If, if Stork can maybe pick off Okay, two Reavers out now for Bisu, and if he can keep that behind his forces, he may be able to accomplish enough to hold Stork off, and if he, if he holds Stork off in this next attack, he will have a huge advantage and probably going to end up winning the game. If Stork, So this is basically Stork's one chance um, to, uh, to press home the advantage that he has at the moment and take the game, and we're going to see the battle coming in right now. Stork dropping down those Reavers, some Scarabs going off. Uh, Bisu fighting a little bit defensively, not going in there. His Reaver's under fire, but oh. Stork's Reaver also under fire. Uh, Stork picking those Reavers up very beautifully low, but somehow Bisu just has way more forces. Oh, Shuttle goes down. Whoa. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I think Stork just went in at a, a really bad angle there, and there's really no good way of doing it. Oh, Stork also actually with a couple of Dragoons who weren't in the battle. That's really uncharacteristic of Stork with three Dragoons left behind there. Um, no, uh, yeah, yeah. wow, I think it really is that angle, though. Uh, Bisu had his, uh, well, well, all the or so all the reavers have gone down, but of course Bisu is kind of the shorter resupply route here, and I think it's just the angle entering the base actually makes the natural quite easy to defend in PvP, um, which actually surprises me given how open this map is. But uh, there is quite a tight choke there, and it is just hard to uh, flood units in as Stork had uh, experienced just now. 
his units just on the bottom, on the southern path, um, just got caught up, and uh, his his reavers, uh, you know, his shuttle got sniped off by Bisu pretty early in the battle, and then both those reavers were isolated and eventually uh, got picked off. So Bisu managed to hold the, hold the line there, basically, with taking no damage, and I think uh, this is pretty much Bisu's game right now. Um, his storks came to pull off something miraculous. Not that that doesn't happen uh, against uh, certain cross-dressing members of Lake Half Oz, whose name rhymes with, uh, or whose name is an agricultural implement, but uh, <laughs> he's got to pull off something like that, and uh, Bisu really isn't uh, isn't really backhoe in terms of, um, uh, you know, I, I don't think I don't think Bisu is uh, by means any mo any anything like the. Uh, the kind of person who would allow a big comeback like that. So I, I think basically what I'm trying to say is Bisu has a huge advantage and will probably win this game. Yeah, and Stork, I think he realizes that. He's just going to try and get in behind Bisu's base and do some damage by taking out these temples. But um, he's got a lot of work to do there on those are temples. There ten temples. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, if he gets a reaver in on that action, he's going to get some splash damage on the temples, but he's not going to have time. Bisu moving out here. Stork has got to... Okay. Looked like he was going to move out his shuttle in front of him. I really think Stork um, should have probably gone in for some harassment with that shuttle. Um, tried to take out some probes before attacking the front yeah, door. Maybe. I think that probably would have worked out better for Stork because, like I said, the positions earlier, if, if Bisu had tried to counterattack, Stork could pull his reavers back to um, defend very easily. But Bisu is... Uh... Bisu's got an observer on the shuttle's tail, like the entire game. I don't know if you noticed. Oh, okay. So that's definitely. Uh, I think Stork may have noticed, and it's just hard to. You know, he probably was scared of uh, getting sniped off by dragoons. But anyway. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. And yeah, so Bisu now, I mean, having won that battle, and now he's uh, he's got his reavers kind of out in the open. So Stork still might have an opportunity to snipe Bisu's reavers, but it looks like they're kind of in the back, so it's gonna be hard. Oh, the shuttle coming in for Bisu. Bisu has. Almost as good of shuttle reaver micro as Stork does. Stork picking up those reavers, dropping them behind, getting the scarabs off, saving all of his units there, getting a little bit better um, micro going on, I think. It's hard to tell at this point, but uh, Bisu just having way too many forces right here. Oh man, Stork's, oh, Stork's uh, reaver going down, getting off one last scarab um, from the second reaver, and yeah, Stork just left with almost no forces and no tech units and no economy compared to Bisu. Uh, Stork GG's, uh, he realized he was kind of beat in the long run there, that was, I mean, his, his one chance was that first attack, and he decided to hold out and try and win a second battle also, but, um, just couldn't pull it off. Stork, Bisu just had too many forces, I think. Yeah, pretty, uh, set match there, one base versus two base, and the two base won in this case, uh, anyway, we're gonna try to, uh, finish this video before the end, so it's easier to process, hope you guys enjoyed, good game, and stay tuned for the last matchup.